Welcome everybody to the Seasons Leadership Podcast, where we are committed to leaders everywhere at all levels who want to make progress on their leadership journey. We will bring you actionable advice to improve your leadership and life today. Thank you for joining us. At Seasons Leadership, we share a vision to make excellent leadership the worldwide standard. Learn more at seasonsleadership.com. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Susan. Welcome to another episode of our Seasons Leadership Podcast. Right. What are we going to talk about today? Well, this topic's been coming up quite a bit. You wrote a blog on it last year, mm -hmm. and um, it was important then, and it just seems the universe wants us to talk about this because it keeps coming up everywhere. Uh, in people we've talked to, prospective clients, it's on commercials, the Olympics are on right now, it's in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. So this topic is investing in yourself. I know this is one, it is close to my heart. And I think one of the most frustrating topics or situations that I come across over and over and over again. Say more about that. Well, it's a, it's a good idea, right? Everybody agrees with it, but do they actually do it? And it's, people just don't do it for some reason. Uh, there's always an excuse. There is something that is a higher priority. They don't have time. They don't have money. Um, they have too many demands on themselves. And so they they just deprioritize themselves and their development for everything else. And, you know, I have sympathy or empathy, maybe is a better word for this, because I was the same way. You know, you were busy and and to take the time uh, to invest in ourselves uh, just doesn't in the moment. It does. It seems like you can always do it. I'll do that later. And I, I didn't. And that's one of the reasons why we're doing seasons leadership is because I think like if I would have known then what I would have known now, what I know now, I would invest in myself. Well, I think you told a story at one point about um, uh doing the contribution in the uh, company matching funds for your savings, yes. like things that you could invest, literally yes. investing in yourself. And um, you can tell the story much better than I, but I, if I remember it right, it was something along the lines of, Hey, I'm a single mom. I've got expenses. I've got kids. I got all these things that I need to be doing, prioritizing. How can I justify you know, putting in that amount, that percentage in this little teeny paycheck I'm getting. And the person who gave you the advice was saying, no, you need to do it. You need to do it now. And sometimes I think it takes that. It takes a person that we trust and respect to tell us this is what we need to be doing. And even though we can't still can't see it, we can't see that, uh, this is really going to be hurt, hurt me. This is going to be hard right. for me. I don't want to do it. But then much later, we realize we owe that person a thank you because yes. they encouraged us to do something. And I had a very similar experience as you. Someone said, Are you're not contributing to the company matching funds. What are you crazy? You're never going to get this opportunity again. So figure out a way to cut back elsewhere so you can invest in yourself. Right. You know, both of those examples, I mean, both of us had this example too, because at the time, our perspective was limited. We didn't have the the um, wisdom of time to see what this is. Exactly. Because the other thing is, is it really wasn't that much money. I mean, we both at the time didn't have much, so it felt like a lot. It but felt it was, huge, right? Yeah. At the time, it was like, I can't yeah. do it. Well, and you don't see it, you don't get, you don't see immediate results or, you know, re immediate right. return. But really, when we're talking about investing in yourself, and we're talking about our leadership development, and our, and uh, just gaining knowledge about how to be a better leader, an excellent leader. We're not talking about a huge investment. Mm -hmm. It's incremental and regular 
and consistent. And over time, it will really reap benefits tenfold for you. Absolutely. If not even more, I saw this thing on uh, social media last week and I can't remember exactly what the thing was I was looking at, but it was a, um, a guy, a video of, of a guy that was bringing his, and he's a billionaire or something like this. And he's on social media, but he had, um, and he tells people how he became a billionaire basically. And so he, had his lunch, his brown bag lunch that he was taking to the office. He was making it, it showed yeah. him making it and then eating it in the office. And, and someone said to him, why don't you just go to McDonald's or why don't you just go, you know, get lunch with everybody else or whatever. And he said, because if I save that money now, and then he did like these math calculations, he goes over amount of time, it will add up to over a million dollars saved if I do this for this many years. He goes, so that seemingly small amount, this is kind of the inverse of what we were just talking about, the amount seeming huge, right? This is just baby steps, right? You you save on, he goes, and my ham sandwich and apple tastes ever so much better. It's healthier and I saved all this money and I'm gonna, it's gonna end up paying off in the long run multiple times. Right. Right. With all this money. And so that's a tangible thing though, right? The money you can say, okay, if I save, if I don't go to Starbucks this day and I put that money in a savings account Mm -hmm. that gets interest, then it's going to multiply like this. And those are, those are figures. That's math. You can figure out, okay, here's what it's going to grow to eventually over time. As you said, it's not such a clear picture when you're investing in yourself in growth, when you're mm-hmm. saying, okay, I want to invest in myself so I can be uh, better at communicating or I can be better with time management or I can be better with my people skills or whatever it is, it's not so easy to see that return on investment even over the long term until you're there right. and you need it. Right. And that's why you've got to depend on, am I doing things towards where I want to be or who I want to be in the future? Right. 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 And it's been our observation that the most successful people and leaders and successful is defined by them. It could be absolutely money position, but it also could be the, their dream job that they have it could be where they're located you know there's success is defined by the person but the most successful people are the ones who have invested in themselves yeah absolutely that's so true well let's let's look at i know you're not big into athletics but let's look at athletes for a minute because the the olympics are on right now right um, there's all kinds of stories as often come out around the, the competitors in the Olympics. And, um, one story was talking about, um, this one competitor thought that her Olympic dreams were over because she found out that she had a very, not one, but two, uh, very rare diseases. And she found out when she wasn't in the Olympic trials or anything, and, and she was like, oh, my dreams are over. I'm not going to get back there for the next time. And then she had to invest in herself, make some hard decisions about what she was going to focus on. And long story short, she eventually got back there. And now she's competing in this Olympics in 2024. Amazing story, right? Mm-hmm. But she invested in herself. Let's, t- let's talk about... Um, other athletes that aren't even facing those, those kind of odds where they have some horrible disease diagnosed just the day to day. Okay. I can, I've got family, I've got kids, but this is my dream to go to the Olympics. Where am I going? How am I going to invest in myself so that I can actually realize that dream and get there? And they're purposefully thinking about what's it going to take? What do I need? And how do I get what I need? How do I make it a reality? And 
they're not wealthy people necessarily, right? They are looking for ways to figure it out just like all of us are at any right. point in time. Right. And they do it because they have this dream. They have this goal. Yeah. So I think that's a, a critical element. You said it's one of the most frustrating things for you because people say they want to do it, but then they don't do it. Right. Right. But I think maybe, maybe one element that makes it worth the investment in people's minds is, is it something that's going to help me achieve what I want? Right. Right. And to have a clear vision of what that is. Yeah. Yeah. And also th there is a point to, to appreciate the process of getting there because we don't arrive. We don't just then say, okay, I've done, I've taken all the classes or I have all the degrees and now I'm, I'm here. It's I've reached a, a certain level. Yeah. <laughs> it's a continual process. Um, and, but it is appreciating yourself and, and knowing that just like anything that we value, we take time, right? We take time and it doesn't have to be a lot of time, but it does have to be consistent. Yeah. And it has to be purposeful. Purposeful. You have to know I'm doing this to get this. Right. Um, there's an add on right now by L'Oreal, the cosmetics company, mm -hmm. and they've long had the slogan L'Oreal because I'm worth it. And they've had different people saying it. Well, they switched that up a little bit recently and their ad was talking about, it still says because I'm worth yeah. it, but it has different examples of why each person thinks they're worth it. Yeah. And they're not necessarily talking about shampoo or hair color yeah. or whatever the thing is, right? They're talking about why they invest in themselves. And they said in the ad, I'm not going to quote it exactly, but free L'Oreal commercial. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to quote it exactly, but they basically said, because I'm worth it is the clearest representation of how important it is to invest in yourself and yeah. what you want. It's true. It is true. And, and we at Seasons Leadership think you listeners are worth it. <laughs> Absolutely. You're worth it. Every single one yeah. of you is worth yes. it. And it's not being selfish to focus on yourself as well as your other responsibilities and figure out what that balance is for how you make what you need to make happen, happen. It doesn't require always you to be the one who sacrifices, right? You can make happen what you need to happen. But as you said, Susan, you got to be purposeful about it. Yeah. You got to be dedicated to it and you've got to consistently work towards it. It's true. The other thing I just want to throw this in is that remember what you're modeling for your children or your peers or your people around you. If you are sacrificing, they're going to see that and they're going to do that. And we don't we don't need that. We need we need everybody, you know, being their fullest person that they can be or who they want to be in. And, and so when you do it, you model that for others, um, especially either children. way you're saying yeah. either way you're modeling yeah. it, right. You're oh, either modeling. Totally. Yes. Rejecting the, Oh no, I can't do that right now. Or I'm going to wait or some point in the future, someday I'm going to do it. Yeah. Or you're modeling. How can I make this happen? Right. Look at me. I'm going back to school. Right. Look at me. I'm taking this course. Look at me. I'm going for that next level right. promotion, Wh whatever it is that's important to you. Right. I have a, just a small story, but it really was impactful to me. Um, when I, when I, my two girls were young, um, I was going to school and um, I felt kind of guilty because I was a single parent you know, they were going to school, I was working and going to school, and then I had to study and that kind of thing. So we often, after dinner, we would get down, we all get at the at the paper, at the dining room table and do, be doing our homework. And I felt guilty. I thought like, this is not so fun for them, you know. <laughs> and, um, and then it was a little what while. What a later. great example you were well, studying. But I was like, I did not feel good about it at the time. I thought like we should be doing more fun things, you know, but I just couldn't. And um, 
there was like later that year, one of them wrote something for school. Like, what, what do you, the question was, what do you like doing with your family? And she said, my favorite thing is when we all do our homework together. And I was like, wow. So what something that I wasn't feeling good about, they were feeling fine about. So, and they have both um, grown up to be very successful. So I thought, well, See, it works. <laughs> it does work. It does work. So um, we've been thinking a lot about this, this concept lately about investing in yourself um, because we've had to make some tough decisions about investing in ourselves. And it didn't just happen when you were a single mom with kids yeah. and trying to go back to school, right? It happens even now. So yeah. it's it, it, like you said, you're not done. You don't arrive. You're constantly going to have to be making these decisions throughout your life. What, in what way do I want to invest in myself now? And it could be self-care. It could be learning new things. It could be achieving new things. It doesn't matter what age you are or what phase of your life you're in. You're always going to be, it's always a good concept to invest in yourself Well, in some well, way, I, shape or form. I just, the world changes. So Absolutely you got to keep up to date. <laughs> Yes. I've recently had to be learning lots of new things that I never could have told you even a year ago that I would be learning, but you know what? It's been energizing and it's been a good thing to, to make that investment and, and get that out of it, get that satisfaction out of it, get that um, sense of accomplishment um, out of it. So um, there's lots of ways you can do this investing in yourself. There's no one right way or one wrong way. There's no wrong way. If you're investing in yourself, you're doing it purposefully and consistently so that you can achieve what you want to achieve. Um, one of those ways we can offer you is, well, we can offer multiple ways. Coaching is one, but another way, if you want to become a better leader, we do have a leadership course online launching very soon. Um, and you can check our website, www.seasonsleadership.com for more information. And the name of it is Elemental Leadership. And it teaches you everything that you need to know about upping your leadership game, being a good leader. And you can do it at your own pace. You yeah. can do it in 90 days like it's designed, or you can take much longer to do it. It's tailor-made for you to take it at your own pace. That's fantastic. And this is, is this is one way that we are trying to help people uh, have the opportunities that, uh, you know, that they may not have in the place that they are right now. So it's, right. it's kind of like back of why we even started Seasons Leadership to right. support and people. Mm -hmm. Remind yeah. everybody why we started it. Yeah, to support people wherever they are in their leadership journey to be better leaders so that we can have a world world filled with excellent leaders. <laughs> Absolutely. And they don't have to wait for anyone else to give them permission. Right. Right. You can take it into your own hands and start. And if you want to be a better leader, you can be a better leader. Yeah. That's great. All right. Well, that cuts it. I think the bottom line in here is, and your takeaway listeners, invest in yourself start now great thank you until next time till next time thank you listeners for joining us today we hope that you were inspired by this conversation and we invite you to join our community on patreon see the link below there you will find more resources to help you on your leadership journey make sure to join us next time for more conversation about leadership excellence